To make a Patan Patola sari, each section of each bundle of silk is meticulously dyed a specific colour. But it's only when the threads are woven together and the pattern is revealed that artisans will know if their mathematical precision worked. Most other saris are embroidered during weaving, but the intricate designs in Patan Patola are dyed directly onto the silk. So any mistake artisans make is irreversible, risking months worth of work. When it's complete, which can take over a year, a Patan Patola sari can cost over eight thousand dollars. So why does it take so long to make a Patan Patola sari? And what makes it so expensive? In the Indian state of Gujarat, the Salvi family's company, Patola House, is one of only a handful of producers of authentic Patan Patola. Because of the time-intensive process, Patola House makes an average of only 15 Patola saris a month. Even among expensive woven textiles, Patan Patola saris are unique. Whereas most textiles are elaborately embroidered on a loom, Patan Patola uses what's called a double ikat design. The weft, or horizontal, and warp, or vertical threads, are painstakingly dyed separately. Only when the weft and warp are woven together will the final design reveal itself. The months-long process begins with high-quality raw silk, purchased for up to $110 a kilogram. A single sari requires just under a kilogram of silk. These threads are as fine as hair, so the artisans must combine them to create a stronger thread they can use for weaving. They clean the silk and bleach it, so it is bright white to best absorb the dye. Meanwhile, designers like Meryl Salvi create detailed sketches on graph paper for the dyers and weavers to follow. The measurements can be as small as one hundredth of an inch. It takes Mehul up to ten days to finish a pattern. कहीं मार्किंग करने में मिस्टेक कर गई तो आगे का सब कुछ मिस्टेक होगा तो वर्प एंड वेब दोनों परफेक्ट जो मैच होना है वहाँ पे वो मैच नहीं होगा तो वहाँ से निकाल ही देना पड़ता है. The sketch is passed on to artisans like Limbachia Priya Ashwin Kumar, who translates the specifications to the warp and weft threads. She does this by marking the different sections onto the silk with a single string dipped in coal. Bria says this is the most challenging part of her work. Measurement is wrong, so if you have the whole design correctly, then it's wrong. When she's done, Bria prepares the threads for resist dyeing. She tightly wraps cotton string around certain sections of the silk thread according to her markings. Bria covers the parts that shouldn't be dyed, leaving only the parts that will be dyed exposed. Multiple layers of tightly wound cotton thread ensure that liquid cannot get through. I put this lug in the lug, but I don't want to go to the lug. I don't want to go to the lug. देखो ये ऐसे करूंगी तो उसको भी से आवाज आनी पड़ेगी आवाज नहीं आती तो हमको समझ में आ जाएगा कि उस हमने पूरा का पूरा वो डीला बांधा है। Dyeing the threads is the most time-consuming part of the process, taking several months to over a year to complete, depending on the complexity of the design. The background color, usually red, is dyed first. The thread must dry completely before another color can be added. And Patola House says its saris typically have at least five colors. More complex designs can have even more. One thing is that when they do dyeing, they tie it. The time is that the design is so small and the ones that are stuck are also a bunch of threads. They are also a bunch of threads. They are also a bunch of threads. So in a small place, in a small place, in a small place, in a small place, they need to go into a small place. That is a challenging thing. The dyed sections are wrapped, while the parts that need to be coloured next are unravelled, and the cycle repeats. 
उसको काफ़ी बार आपको चेक करना पड़ता है और ग्राफिक्स पेपर से डिज़ाइन के हिसाब से उसको कंप्लीट करना पड़ता है कि ये चीज़ वही है ओपन किया हुआ है जिस पोर्सन को आपको कलर करना है हाँ वो गलत कलर हो गया तो उसको हम कुछ भी नहीं कर पाएंगे क्योंकि ये रियल कलर्स है एक बार सिल्क पे चढ़ गया तो फिर कभी वो जाएगा नहीं वंस ऑल द कलर्स हैव बीन डाइड इट कैन टेक अ टीम ऑफ फाइव पीपल 2 डेज टू डिटेंगल द नॉट्स एंड प्रिपेयर द सिल्क फॉर वीविंग द लूम्स यूज्ड फॉर बटन पटोला आर यूनिक Whereas most looms stand upright and can be operated by a single person with a foot pedal, Patan Patola requires a slanted hanging loom and two workers to operate it. Hanging looms allow more light to pass, so the weavers can keep a close eye on the design. To weave just 6 inches, they must work for 2 and a half hours. If the tension in the threads is too tight, the threads will move upwards. And if it's too loose, they'll move downwards, compromising the accuracy of the design. So every 6 inches, weavers pause to adjust the tension of the threads using ballpoint needles, which takes another 2 and a half hours. Then they spend the same amount of time ensuring the warp and weft match perfectly before continuing. That's almost Eight hours of work for only six inches of patan patola. A patan patola sari is typically 5.5 meters long and a little over a meter wide. But in this process, the threads can break. So, what do we do? We take an extra thread and join them both ends. Then, when the weaving is done, we will remove the extra thread and remove the design. If the threads are too thick, we will remove the whole thread and remove the whole thread. The weaving process takes about a month to finish. The weaving process takes about a month to finish. The weaving process takes about a month to finish. A design with a lot of repetition is easier to make and can be finished in as little as 4 months. These designs usually cost slightly over $1500, but more complex designs with no repeating patterns can take a year and a half and go for over $8500. But over the years, Mehul says, costs of production have increased. फिर दूसरी आप लेबर देखेंगे तो अभी जो लेबर को जो हम सैलरी दे रहे थे आज उससे डबल हो गई है तो सब चीज में भाव बढ़ रहा है बिफोर कोविड 19 पटोला हाउस वुड बाय सिल्क फॉर 73 डॉलर्स अ किलोग्राम बट नाउ इट पेस 110 डॉलर्स एंड द डाइज इट यूजेस ऑन चीप इधर सम कॉस्ट 24 डॉलर्स अ किलोग्राम व्हाइल अदर्स कॉस्ट ओवर 120 And imported dyes like indigo can cost the company over three hundred dollars a kilo. Patola House produces patan patola the same way it was done centuries ago, by hand with no mechanization. Though there are conflicting origin stories for the fabric, it's believed to have gained importance in India between the 11th and 13th centuries. The Rani Kivav step well built in the 11th century in Patan depicts traditional Patan Patola designs. These saris were a status symbol worn by aristocrats and royalty. Even today, the high price tag means they're only worn by those who can afford it. Patola House has seen demand for its saris continue to increase as the fabric is getting more attention. Once a dying craft, Patan Patola has been featured in Lakshmi Fashion Week. To meet the demand, Patola House employs more than 250 people. ये लेने वाले हैं तब तक तो बनेगा ही। जब नहीं होगा तो देखते हैं। जब इसके प्राइस देते हैं आप इसके, जो भी चीज बनती है उसकी प्राइस देने वाले लोग मिल जाते हैं। जिसको पता चलता है ये ऑर्गेनिक है और ये प्योर चीज है, ऑर्थेंटिक चीज है तो वो प्राइस देते हैं।